Hey guys, Garrett. What's going on? I've uh, got a real short video for you this time about the uh, or one of the 12 valves I recently picked up, uh, the one that's going in my deuce. Um, I mentioned the other day that uh, the manifold was cracked, and I just wanted to show you um, the reason they crack and uh, explain by showing you uh, why it's a good idea if you're going to use a a 5.9 liter Cummins, whether it's 12 or 24 valve, um, the reason you want to go to an aftermarket manifold uh, instead of a stock type manifold if you've got to replace it. Uh, and even if your manifold isn't cracked yet, why it's a good idea to replace it before it does. Um, so what the Cummins manifolds are known for is shrinking and cracking, like I showed you the other day, or breaking the ears off of the exhaust ports on the head and let me show you you can just kind of start to see it here the manifolds shrink together they shrink lengthwise so you see this bolt is already at a bit of an angle from the manifold pulling this way now in the center they're not as pronounced you can still see it here um, not really at all here. This is the middle. Um, same thing here. Not really much movement, but when you move towards the back, look at this sucker. Look at the offset here. Now the very back, the number six, look how bad that is. And it's, once again, quite offset. Uh, was probably leaking exhaust here like a bitch. In fact, it even broke off the bottom bolt on its own. Um, and it's not just cracked here, it also is cracked in the web down here, which you can't really see too well because the lighting isn't great here. But yeah, so this whole manifold is junk. Um, luckily, it didn't break the ears off of the head because once it does that, the head is junk. Um, I mean, it could maybe be uh, repaired if you know somebody who's good with cast iron welding or or whatnot, but usually your best option is just to replace it. Um, so I just wanted to show you that in a, a little example of why, you know, why the aftermarket manifolds, a lot of them are multi-piece. If you, if you split, if you split this manifold like a lot of them do into three pieces where they press together, then it's got room to expand and contract without breaking stuff. So, uh, you know, save yourself the trouble of the repair and the money of an extra head and head gasket and all that stuff. Just spend a few hundred bucks on a good manifold. Get away from the stock crap. Uh, they don't flow that great anyway. And, uh, yeah, don't deal with that shit. I got lucky on this one. You know, of course, I wouldn't have bought it if it was broke. I did see that beforehand. Um, but if you've already got one and you've been running it for a long time, then, you know, take a look at that. Make sure yours isn't on its way out. And uh, even if it's not, go ahead and replace it because all, they all will do that eventually. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just heat cycles. Do it. So, hope you found that helpful. Save you some money. And headache in the long run. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next little video, guys. Thanks.